Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Iffy and Eli. And instead of having to input his head, he's right here! Like, look, I can touch him and like... What's up? <laughs> so, today we're just gonna do our Iffy and Eli, but we're going to be together filming, which is super exciting for me. This is so much better. I actually have help setting up the shots and the lights, which is amazing. So, before I go off into tangents, I'll let Eli say hi. <laughs> hey folks, I am home. I'm here in person. So I've been a big fan of the uh, Iffy's World and the Iffy and Eli show, you know, also being a co-host of it. So I'm so <laughs> excited to be here in person. And this is new to me. Iffy told me that I need to look at the lens. So if I'm looking <laughs> off in the workplace, I'm not as polished at this as she is. So this is my first one. So yeah. go easy on me. So excited. Okay, so today's topic for us is we're kind of moving the channel in a direction, or the Iffy and Eli show, in a direction more of like other stuff that Iffy does, which is more um, self-development, personal development. So um, we research topics for today and we're really excited about today's topic, which is habits that make for um, a happy couple, like a healthy, happy couple relationship. And obviously that's something that's really important to us is we are a couple <laughs> and uh, we some of the things like we researched this article I think it's from Women's Health magazine and if you'll put the uh, link the links will be in the description box so that way if you want to read what we're talking about there you go and um, but we kind of read it over together and we took notes and we talked about it and now we're just gonna have a uh, free flow conversation on the topics yeah and like how we usually do, I'll provide the structure for it, and then Ify will give also her reaction and her very wise woman commentary to the um, to the information. So in terms of um, habits for healthy and happy couples, one of the first topics of the article deals with the importance of empathy, meaning that um, it's important to have empathy and show empathy for the person that you're in the relationship with. What does empathy mean to you, Vicky? I mean, you pretty much said it, but empathizing to me is kind of being able to feel, put yourself in the other person's shoes, so to speak, so that way, instead of reacting from a negative space, we can react from a space of, well, if this happened to me, how would I feel? How would I want somebody to treat me? Versus, nah! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, empathy, we both agreed, was huge to have in this ship and not to play the blame game, you did this, I did that, and so and so did that, but to empathize where the other partner or person is coming from. Exactly. And so I'd say for like an example for me with Iffy is sometimes I feel, I might feel like a lot of um, pressure from work or something else to do a big project and get everything done. But at the same time, um, I'm very lucky that if he enjoys spending time with me. So I've got to balance that. Sometimes I got to put the work to the side and then just make it all about quality time with if he. He's quite awesome at that. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess topic number two. Another topic um, from the article that we read is uh, the importance of communication, communicating clearly. What does uh, good communication mean to you, Effie? Oh gosh, for somebody, I love words, love words. I will talk on tangents all day long, but for me to be clear and concise, and it's not always easy to articulate our feelings, especially since I'm me as a person and he is him as a person, um, but to, do our best to communicate from a neutral standpoint and try to not be emotional in how we communicate in the sense like it, it could be a touchy subject or situation, would you agree? And then just to, I don't know, clearly communicate but always come from a place of the heart space, of love, of compassion, and the empathy comes in and to always keep that peace when you're communicating clearly so that way it translates easier for what you're trying to say into <laughs> what the other person hopefully hears. Does that make sense? That does make sense to me. And you 
touched on what I was going to bring up, which is kind of empathy. The last topic comes into communication, mm -hmm. communicating from empathy. And then I'd also like to add that um, a lot of communication is nonverbal also. That's right? very true. So that even if we have like information or facts or feelings we want to communicate to our spouse, with our nonverbal communication, we can still kind of say, look for that part of us that says, I love you. So whether that's like touching while um, sharing some something that you need to <laughs> talk about with your spouse or you making eye contact, mm -hmm. all those things. Um, I value that. I would have to agree. And he said everything perfectly, so. <laughs> Moving on to another topic. Third topic. The, the importance of loyalty to your spouse. Mm -hmm. Being loyal to your spouse, good for a happy, healthy relationship. What does loyalty mean to you, babe? Loyalty, as far as being with your spouse, we're always on the same team. Like, we're always going to be a united front. We're gonna, I'm gonna always have his back, and he, I know, is always gonna have my back. So that, to me, is loyalty. Or, you know, let's say, for example, I'm totally pulling this out of thin air. Let's say my grandmother didn't like him, and that's totally not true. <laughs> she loves him. But let's just hypothetically say my grandmother didn't like him and starts talking about whatever, and then I side with my grandmother versus my husband. That's not being loyal. That's not looking at, that's just not being loyal to me. So, yeah. No, it's good. Okay. But yeah, but being loyal to me is always having his back. <laughs> and putting him. You know, he's he's my number one. Besides myself, he's my, like, he's my person. He's my person. I agree. Like, I think loyalty is being part of a team. And I know, like, if he and I used to play this game in New York City, where we'd <laughs> walk the street holding hands, <laughs> and then we would, we were more mature back then, we would try to... Beep. Not kind of like people over the sidewalk and knock other couples out of the way, which is awful. But what I like, but what I like about it is that we were being a team. We were being a team so, in a weird, funny way. Exactly. <laughs> we don't really play that game now because we want all couples to be happy and united. But yeah. <laughs> we respect everybody on the sidewalk, but and we don't want to get our butts beat. But that's um, very true statement. But. I like the fact that I know that if he's my teammate, and I didn't always have that like in relationships in the past when I was younger, where um, we'll be loyal to each other and we walk into a room together, I know the most loyal person in the room is going to be if he. That's him. Yeah. <laughs> so, on that note, let us know what you feel, what you think about these topics. Is this something that you practice in your relationship? Um, or where you're even struggling, because we all have struggles and it's taken us time to get to this space in our relationship, which I'm grateful for because we're not perfect human beings, but we love each other as perfectly as we can. So let us know what you think, what you feel, how this resonates with you. Put it in the comments down below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this and to share, comment, and subscribe because really why not and I hope you guys enjoyed this you found it useful and valuable and we will see you on the next Iffy and Eli ah! Bye, folks. and I will see you on the next video let me know you guys want to see love you guys bye
See y'all later. Okay, we'll do that. What can we do? Can we do, do, like do like, voices. Yeah. Let's do it at the same time, ready? Alright. The count of three, two, one.